As usual, I watched Money Heist three times before making this video, and I finally figured out what really happened in the ending. Why Raphael did what he did. And it was magical. But let's start at the beginning. In the first half of Money Heist Part 5, Berlin told his son that If you really want something in life, you have to steal it from somebody else. Since Raphael looked back at Berlin's wife, we assumed that Raphael would steal her. And he did. Little did we know, Raphael would eventually do it again with the gold. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. At the end of the first half of Part 5, the professor helped Alicia Sierra give birth. As the professor mourned the loss of Tokyo, Sierra escaped with the newborn and she called Colonel Tamio in an attempt to get her job and her freedom back. But Colonel Tamio would not agree to her terms. He would not resign. Instead, he sent cops out after her. So Sierra and the professor became a team by happenstance. They hid from the police and made their way to the stormwater tank. Meanwhile, the team inside the Bank of Spain used an oil rigging pump to funnel all 90 tons of gold there. The police heard the pumps, so they realized what the heist team was doing and they went to the stormwater tank. Unfortunately for them, they had assumed that the team would pump the gold downstream, but the heist team had actually pumped the gold to the upstream stormwater tank. So the money heist team had the gold. But then, Raphael and Tatiana showed up, disguised as cops. They stole it. They drove it to a nearby personal property, buried it, and covered it up with a nice little house. That was a big problem. Half of the money heist team was still inside the Bank of Spain. To make matters worse, they thought that they had subdued Sagasta, but he had secretly sent out and injured Arteche on a solo mission through the ventilation ducts. Stockholm actually heard Arteche at one point, but since Stockholm had previously seen hallucinations of Arturo, she assumed that the sounds that she heard were just hallucinations of Tokyo. So basically, Arteche snuck around and she detained Palermo. Then the police entered and took everyone else captive. But the professor was the master of illusion, and the master of illusion performed his final trick. First, he turned himself in so that he could be with his team, to help them stay strong while he negotiated with Colonel Tamio face to face. His team in Pakistan then told the world the truth. They released video showing that the heist team had stolen the gold out of the Bank of Spain. This caused the markets to crash 14% before closing. Overnight, Spain asked for help from the Central Bank of Europe, but they were denied. So when the market opened the next morning, it crashed hard, and trading was called to a stop after just three minutes. The professor then drove in trucks of gold-plated brass. It was fake gold, a nod back to the Viking gold that Berlin, Tatiana, and Raphael stole in Volume 1. But what is gold anyway? The Bank of Spain doesn't use gold to pay for anything. They use the euro, a fiat currency. So faith in the Bank of Spain was restored despite the gold being an illusion. If Colonel Tamio had told the world that it was fake, he would destroy the economy. So in the end, Colonel Tamio lied to the press. He lied and said that they got their gold back. He then said that the Money Heist team was killed in a shootout and he carried them out in body bags. The final illusion. In truth, they were given pardons, passports, and a way out of the country. They flew off into the sunset. And they had the gold. Here's how that went down. Since Sierra had found the professor when no one else could, he motivated her to believe in herself. So while he went to the Bank of Spain to perform the final trick, she went on a mission to find the gold. Sierra realized that the professor had decided to rob the Bank of Spain after they had robbed the Royal Mint of Spain. Since Berlin died during the first heist, Sierra realized that Raphael and Tatiana would not have known about the second heist until they saw it unfolding on the news. Therefore, Sierra went and looked for property that had been bought within the last five days, and Sierra found the gold. But she had unknowingly set off tripwires, so Raphael and Tatiana's team showed up and cornered them. That is when Sierra gave Raphael a note from his uncle, the professor. Raphael trusted his uncle to give him a share of the gold, so his team allowed Sierra's team to drive the treasure house off to Portugal. And why did he trust his uncle? Here's the reason. Raphael asked his uncle, Sergio, I don't understand. Why are you playing a heist? My dad, I can understand, you know. <laughs> but you, with all that knowledge that you have. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What we do is far more than just work. It's a tradition in our family. This was the most important scene of the show. The one in which the professor told the story about his father, Raphael's grandfather. How, as a child, 
he saw his father killed robbing a bank. So when you ask me why I choose to plan the heist, the answer's simple, to talk to him. <laughs> and here's the thing. Ryo heard the voice of Tokyo after she passed away. I wanted to tell him it was me. And that I wasn't gone yet. That I was at peace. So in theory, Raphael heard Berlin's voice here, the voice of his father telling him that he was at peace and encouraging him to trust his uncle. So in the end, Raphael trusted his uncle because stealing is in their blood. It's a matter of family. Family. It's our heritage. It's uh, really important that you never forget that.